What's up guys, welcome back, I'm Pope John Paul and we are here with a new update for the Rise of Mordor mod. I know I'm a little bit late on a, well it coming out, it was it came out earlier last week and um, it's had some major additions to the Eastlings as we can see here, I mean these are the Varig Warriors, um, so they're like an axe unit, they look just amazing, I mean that the detail that goes into them it looks amazing, I mean look at like all the writing, it's just on like their on their masks, on their on their axes, there looks amazing. Um, but yeah, so I mean, they that is one of the units that's been added. I think the uh, Eastlings have had about four units added. Um, one of them is the Bane of the Steps. They've kind of had like an update. Well, they've had a reskin, put it like that. Um, so these guys, I mean, they look really cool now. They will look like cataphracts before, but um, but I mean now they kind of look. I don't know. Well, they still look sort of like cataphracty with like the horse armor. And like their armor, but I mean they look a bit more, uh, a bit more evil. I mean with their masks. I mean just look at that mask. Oh, that is pretty good. I mean, and they also look more recent with their their robes and stuff on. So they they just look awesome. Um, I think the other units been added. Varig Bowman are one of these units that's been added. Um, these guys look awesome as well. Um, look very similar to the uh, Axemen. They just have bows instead, and they have shields on their back, which they can take off, which is so good. And I presume they've got a secondary. They've got, like, a sword, yeah. So that, so they look amazing as well. I can't wait to see all these units on the battlefields uh, in the future. Um, and I think, oh, well, I guess this, what, is this the Loki Rim? They look like they've had a sort of a, they look like they've been remodeled a bit. They look just a bit darker and just... And I think the shields are different, but I'm not sure. I think they might be. But they just look awesome as well. And then what have we got? Uh, well, I, yeah, actually, yeah, these looking warriors I think are new. I think I'm not sure. We had pikes, but I don't think they're here. Um, but yeah, and then I think that's really it. He's got a catapult and some more of the same stuff over there. So, and the other faction that's majorly had stuff added is Mordor. Which I am playing as, and they have the servants of the eye. So they have Cav now to Mordor. So they actually are able to put up a fight. And I mean, look at those guys. Their shields just look amazing. Let's try and get a better look at that. I mean, it's basically got all the uh, the chit chat of the ring on it. One ring to rule them all, etc., etc. And the eye in the middle looks awesome. I mean, these guys just look. They remind me of the mouth of Sauron with their armor and stuff like that. If you've seen the Lord of the Rings movies in and the extended version. Um, Mouth of Sauron appears uh, in the third film, and he uh, and well, spoilers. Aragorn kills him, chops his head off, but he looks like they look like them, and they look awesome. So, and then the other major unit that has uh, been added is the Morgul Legion. So another Pike unit or pole arm unit. Um, these guys look like beasts. I mean, look at the armor. Let's actually let's uh, get a face on. Look at that armor. That is some pretty uh, tanky armor. Um, they've now, this is a pretty solid unit. Um, obviously, pole arms, so they are weak on the flanks and rear. But they, they're they going to be pretty good at holding the line. Um, still no trolls, though. Uh, update on the trolls. Uh, they had to restart from scratch uh, on the work there because of some uh, problems they ran into. And, uh, yeah, so that's kind of... Uh, stop that any chance of that happening in the next update. They plan to try and get that the mount maybe in the, a future update soon. Um, who knows? It's not really, it's a bit all un unknown. And elves are on the way soon, I think. They're also in production, which is good to hear. So we've also just got like Uruk pi uh, Orc Pikes, Uruk Throng, Uruk Archers, a couple of our own, Uruk Spears, and some Vassal Sal from Karu, which we've all seen before. And um, we do outnumber. The enemy by quite a lot but quality may prevail here so we get a first shots of the battle where are they going to land all the way over there quite a long way away that was actually a pretty good hit those Loki rim were not expecting that having to stand their ground that was a solid hit and now they respond with their own which I'm pretty sure misses I mean this even the Easterling um, like Catapult unit just looks awesome. They all have like the little kits on and stuff like that. Like, look at that. They have a kit. So much detail. It's amazing. I had uh, tips to uh, the models. 
Because it is just great. And it looks like they're preparing for battle. I don't know if we're moving forward or if anyone's moving forward. Archers are coming forward. Um, orc pikes, orc spears. Yeah, no, I mean, we're just all just moving forward right now. So let's see what happens. I just can't get over how beautiful these guys look. A lot of artillery fire going off. I don't think they're really hitting much, though. Oh, actually, no. As I say that, that one's definitely done a lot of damage to some orc pikes. But orc lives don't matter, so... Who cares what happens to them? There's other orcs for a place to rank. like, look, here you go. This guy's ready. He's not even got a, he's not even got a pike. He didn't get the memo. I can't wait to see hordes and hordes of orcs. Just in, like, recreating battles. It's going to be awesome. Really is. Uruk Throng, looking pretty nasty themselves. They remind me a bit of the goblins from the uh, Mines of Moria, a little bit with the armor, but I think they look really good. Ooh, that's another good hit back there. Actually, I'm just I'm missing all these really good hits, but you see in the aftermath and the carnage that they leave behind. But now here comes the archer fight. I imagine in this fight, uh, the Varig Bowman will win. Because, well, just because they're fighting Uruk archers who aren't great. And if they're a large unit like the Uruk archers are 200, you're probably going to uh, have lower quality troops. Just kind of how it is in Total War. The bigger the unit, the probably the crappier it is. That's why I think these guys are going to be really, really good, because obviously they're the unit of 60, like most cavalry units, but they just look, also look awesome. They just look so goddamn deadly, and they'll hopefully get mobilized soon. It looks like there's going to be a big cavalry battle going on here. Um, I've got my spears to support, uh, to fight some Bane of the Steps and some Varig Lancers. Actually, I don't think we've seen the Varig Lancers. I did not see these guys. Oh yeah, we have the Varig Lancers. Here's the other unit um, that's been added then. Varig Lancers. My apologies, guys. But, I mean, again, very similar model with a very nice uh, spear, though. I'm not going to complain about that. But, anyway, the clash of infantry has begun. It's just Uruk Throng right now fighting against Loki. We're in combat even. Evil versus evil. Gondor will be laughing. And please. This guy is not going to last long, you imagine. Surrounded. Kill this man. It's about... Oh god. What happened to him? He's been knocked down. He's going to get up though. Um, but now we have the uh, Orc Pikes and the Morgul Legion. Hope, where are they? Where are the Morgul Legion? Are they somewhere on this line? Oh no, here they are. This is the Morgul Legion here. Getting mobilized. We're soon going to be able to see them fight. Are we, uh, ooh, here we go. The cavalry started to fight on both sides. So we have the South Thron... Uh, Cavalry vassals of uh, of Mordor being beaten by the vein of the steps. No surprise, that's light cavalry against heavy. Um, but we get to see the action in action. That's what we want to see. I'm not quite sure who killed him. They all just seem to stare at him. But they're all going in there, hacking away at horses now. And they've been victorious. And here comes some uh, Uruk spears to try and help out and kill some cav. He seems to have done quite a good job. There's a lot of dead here. Good God, it's chaotic. Just wanted to see these new units fight it out. See what happens. Oh, nice beheading there. Oh, yes, that was a good head, a head chop. Head chop beheading. Like, why didn't I just say beheading? Right, well done, sir. Promotion for you, but now they're probably just going to finish off these Uruk spears. They're no, no match to them, it would seem. And already, what's this? Orc pikes are breaking. The Morgul Legion have been mobilized. Let's see, are they fighting? They sort of are, they sort of aren't. They're pole arms, so I guess they're just kind of holding the line. Is this Orc? No, this is Orc pikes. Seems like orc pikes aren't very long compared to like Isengard pikes. 
because these guys can still get very close and break down that pipeline, it would seem. But where else are they fighting? Also, oh my god, these Morgul Legion here are just getting focused down. But the enemy general is dead. Oh, that's excellent, actually. That's very handy. How's he died? Oh, or Uruk Spears. Well, you shouldn't have charged into Spears. Foolish move. But, I mean, they, these Spears are just going to get um, mopped up by these Loki Rim. But maybe that will uh, cause some morale problems. I don't know. Um, we've got a lot of... Oh, here we go. Servants of the Eye. Servants of the Eye. We need to watch these guys fight it out. I don't know who's winning in this fight. Um, Barry Glance is losing decisively. No surprise there. They're a, a shock cavalry. Um, I imagine. I just need to check that. Oh, they're just heavy spears. Okay. That's fair enough. Um, but they're losing decisively. Spears versus swords. They would probably. Very heavy against. I presume heavy. Yeah. These guys are going to just get munched up. But maybe some support from these uh, axes will help him out. And some arch support now. These guys may be in trouble. My general is in here, I'm pretty sure. As for the servants of the eye. Not quite sure where. We're so good if we can have the servants of the eye and then the witch king of Angmar. I, well, we could try and use the Gladrim mod um, with this. And then have the witch king of Angmar uh, with his like servants of the, the eye. Uh... Bodyguard almost. Oh, looks so cool. Oh, that was a good kill. Just sort of missed that as he hacked down that, that final guy there. Well, I think these servants of the eye are getting mopped up now. Yeah, losing decisively as soon as those axemen arrived. That's kind of help. But oh no, my general's over here. He's causing havoc in the rear. Killing archers left, right, and center. This is good. This is going to be handy. Now he needs to move on to the next one. Oh, that's a good artillery hit. Just missed that. Whoa. -ho -ho. Luckily, we didn't kill any of our own men doing that. Move on to the next arch unit, and then maybe on to the next one. What's after this? Actually, it's not. Oh, it is archers fighting spears. Oh, it's not a bad charge, actually. These guys are just monsters. No fear. And they're mo moving on. Half a, half the unit left. Of course, Havoc in the rear, but the, the front is gone. The infantry line is all but disintegrated. And the Morgul Legion aren't even in the fight yet. I don't even know where they are. Here they are. They're breaking. They're just being focused down. I didn't even see this. This is annoying. Here they go. They're getting mobilized now. Sort of forcing their way forward. Oh, and they're getting surrounded. They're getting flanked by the Loki room. That's not good. Oh, come on. Such an elite unit. Well, not probably one of the most elite units the Orcs have yet. And it's just breaking. I don't know. Like I said, 200. Maybe not... Uh, maybe not excellent. This is such a large unit. But, like I said, trolls will... Uh, I've said in many a Rise of Mordor video, trolls are all that it needs to send... Mordor to probably give them a match against other factions. Like the Easterlings beat these guys currently. They have such good uh, infantry and cavalry. They're probably the so most solid uh, evil faction there is at the moment. You need a lot of orcs to overwhelm any sort of defense at the moment. It looks like uh, the Morgul Legion's getting ripped to shreds. I don't know how many of them left. Can't be many. 163, and they're reforming in a weird formation. Yeah, the form they're so huge as the unit that they're forming like this. Bizarre. But here we go, the general going to charge in, get some more kills. That was a bad volley from the, uh, well, a good volley from the archers. But in, in the, uh, if you're rooting for Mordor, that was a good volley. No, if you're rooting for these things, that was a good volley. If you weren't, oh dear, our general's dead. He gets sent into, and we send the remaining unit into a suicide charge. I don't know. He must have died. 
back there somewhere. But that's going to seal the fate, you'd think, for Mordor, as you can see here. Massive outnumber. We barely killed a thousand of their men. And they've killed 5,000 orcs almost. The Morgul Legion here with the Servant of the Eye are going to hold out to the end. Twelve of them left. They've got so many chevrons. They've done so much damage in this battle. Yeah, this is it. This is it, basically. These, these men here. It's a sad thing to see. Uruk Throng coming back quickly. Archers and that breaking left, right, center, and hit. There we go. Nothing left. A close defeat, apparently. Didn't feel like a close defeat, to be honest. Barely seemed to scratch uh, the Eastling's army. I mean, there's a few units that are pretty bad up. Um, some of the Axemen are uh, certainly worse for wearing the Archers. Uh, got run down a bit, but... Um, yeah, most of the rest is kind of intact. I mean, look at that. 320 kills for that uh, Bane of the Steps unit. That is excellent. 320... What did I say? 320 there. 329 here for Loki Rim Warriors. Excellent. 314 for those uh, Varig Warriors. Wow. This is some work to some of these units. One one kill for those Loki Rim Warriors there. Wow. They didn't contribute much. Um... 408 for my ki uh, for my king for my uh, general the servants of the eye wow that is i think probably the top unit here by a lot by a long shot but everything else did very little i mean i must have then most of the nearly half their losses came from my general my infantry then did the rest these guys must be beefy as hell but i mean i mean that general unit's beefy as hell, but my uh, other ones didn't really do so well. They, I mean, but they were fighting other cavalry, which was very elite. While well, these guys were running down um, missiles, I guess. But uh, the Morgul Legion didn't really impress, only getting them like 50 kills at best. A bit of a shame. I don't know if it really mobilized them well. Maybe they'd be better in choke points, who knows. Um, but yeah, guys, there you go. There are the up uh, new updates for most of, uh, most of Rise of Mordor. There is a few other things that have been added, I think. Um, Dol Amroth, not Dol Amroth, um, Pelagir Marines and stuff like that have got, um, like new, uh, javel javelins or something like that. I think they've got, like, their own special ones. Um, there's new maps which include Kerandros, which I'm sure I will do battle on at some point. Looked amazing. Um, and that's about it. I think there's been a lot of stuff that's been re either redone, like the Bane of the Steps. Um, if I've missed anything out and any of the uh, modders are watching, please let me know what I've missed out in the comments. Um, as if, There's so much stuff that's like constantly changing this mod that it's hard to keep up sometimes. But anyway guys, if you've enjoyed, then please leave a like and subscribe. And also, I will also add before I leave, uh, go check out Lol Watt's channel. Um, he's one of the modders for uh, Rise of Mordor. He, started, he has a his own YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description and probably at the end of this video. Video, um, Go check him out. Go give him some support. Um, really great guy. Anyway, guys. And until next time. Bye for now.